I'm Julie Porter and I'm from the Churchill Flute Band. I think I've put very well. I've been working from home and I've been taking part in the Fit to March incentive which gave me a bit of motivation to get out and get walking. I took part in the You'll Never Walk Alone video as well which gave me a chance to actually get my flute out and practice. Yep. Uh, David Ramsey, uh, local government councillor here in the South Inster Band District Council, a uh, member of LOL 1927, Bird Faith Defenders and uh, looking forward to an unusual 12th this year. Well, the Orange Order, I joined it um, when I was 18 years of age. Uh, LOL 1927, Bird Faith Defenders. Um, I'm originally from Upper Gallia, and uh, ourselves, along with people from Kosh Kwon, all joined the Bird Lodge, which was seen as our local lodge. Um, we've built up a lot of camaraderie over the years, and we uh, had our 100th anniversary. Uh, and our 150th anniversary was last year. Uh, we originally were from uh, Hinch Island, and uh, whenever our hall was destroyed in 1972 by the IRA, we then moved in to the Memorial Hall here in the city, and we've been here ever since. And uh, we have a number of members who died at the Battle of the Somme, and that is something that ties our lodge together, and we would commemorate at the Battle of the Somme on an annual basis. Yes, I have actually missed the band. It's, uh, you miss it on a Tuesday night, definitely, but I have actually been teaching one of my Zoom lessons on a Tuesday night to give a bit of sense of normality on a Tuesday night with the lessons. So I, do, I cannot wait to actually get back with the band and practice with everyone. Well, during lockdown, it was difficult. Difficult for every family, um, uh, especially with our elderly people, um, our grandfathers, grandmothers and, and parents, that we weren't able to actually meet them uh, the same way. Now, I know social media was one of the things that I know helped me and my family uh, because we used uh, FaceTime. So social media has become a very, very important thing during this whole pandemic. Um, that's basically it, you know, it's really, really been helpful. The 12th of July was actually a big thing with my family. We've always celebrated it, so I will hopefully meet up with some family, some of the members of the band, social distance, obviously, and just try and celebrate it the best we can this year in the current circumstances. 12th of July this year is going to be very, very interesting. Um, there's opportunities, um, and obviously we're going to miss our parade. Uh, we're going to miss the main parade, the 12th itself, um, and the build-up to it as well. Now, uh, in New Buildings, uh, the local band, Pride Orange and Blue, they have now agreed to help with a, a competition for decorating houses, you know, best decorated houses. Um, I know during VE Day, there was quite a number of people in uh, Gorcha Manor, where I live, who decorated their houses and we all had a party out the front gardens and we, we had a great time. And I think that's the plan again. So, you know, just because we can't have our parade doesn't mean we can't have a good time with our families, especially our families. Hopefully it might be more than 10 allowed, you know, together come that time because, you know, it's difficult because most families have over 10 people that they'd like to have there that day. So we'll probably have good fun. I'm looking forward to all the Newgate Arts stuff, obviously. The Bands Forum, looking forward to Orange Order, Grand Lodge stuff. Um, you know, there's a lot of online stuff going to happen and uh, really, really looking forward to uh, what will be, at the end of the day, as best as we can make it. It was 100% the correct one because there's one of the most important things in all of this pandemic, and that is leadership. There had to be strong leadership to save lives and get us through this year. We, uh, we have come through something that we have never experienced. Most people have never experienced. And, um, What's happened is leadership had to step in. And, you know, how can we be clapping every Thursday for the NHS outside our houses, saving our NHS, the most important thing to many of us in our lives, and then gathering a crowd of people together and putting the NHS at risk and putting each other at risk? So the Orange Order made the right decision, a leadership decision, and um, I stand by it like, like basically everybody does. Without a doubt, without a doubt, we are about our community. This, we are community people. 
we're community organisations, we work throughout the city and all walk, with all walks of life. Um, you know, we, we love our culture, we enjoy our culture. We're not here to defend people, we want to celebrate. And we, we want, like the Psalm for instance, is one of the things which, you know, being a Donegal Lodge, we have made a lot of friends through the Mazines uh, Society and, uh, and we would attend a, a remembrance service in Donegal every year. And we've got to know a lot of people in that area. Uh, through through the Mazines project, and uh, we we enjoy our culture, and um, we we don't see our we don't see our organisation as political. We don't we see it as a commemorative organisation, and that, that is basically what we see it as. Yeah, yeah, because uh, you know I know from being obviously associated and knowing the band forum well, like you know a lot of young people. They do, the practice is difficult getting them on the practice, and you know there's there is options online. And, and there's a lot of things we're, we're learning through this here. Like, for instance, the bagpipe training, uh, flute training, drum training, everything, it's been done online at the moment. So there's opportunities, I think, for our band fraternity um, and for our lodges and all too. There's no reason why we couldn't have online meetings maybe every other month instead of meeting, you know, having to go to a meeting every month. It means a terrible lot because it's one day in the year where you, everyone gets together, they have a laugh, they have a bit of crack, they demonstrate their culture. Um, they, uh, you know, it, it's just amazing when you see the sea of people. Um, I know that the parades are, you know, there's something that you look forward to. It, it, people would say, you know, it feels like Christmas Eve the night before because you're excited about the next day. I'd never, I'd never leave you. You always have that excitement about the next day. Like we march in Colmore in the morning. Um, it's such a beautiful place to parade, and, and you know, once a year we would parade there on the 12th morning, and you know, it, it's, it just really starts the day off the way it's meant to go on. Storm at Executive, you could see the cracks at the start. Uh, party politics, but the public were not tolerating it. It was quite obvious the pu public were wanted leadership, they wanted uh, life saved, they wanted whatever had to be done, done. And thankfully, everything came together, and I, I, I'm very impressed with what they have done. Uh, the ministers uh, and government here locally uh, and obviously I'm very pleased at how people have reacted and people have behaved. Obviously we, we know the issues we've had over the last couple of weeks uh, by mindless people um, and you know we, we, we just can't understand why people would risk other people's lives uh, in this day and age after what we have came through and the NHS, what they have came through, our supermarket workers, uh, all our key workers. Um, our doctors and uh, obviously the home helps etc. It was always a day where we celebrate it with family and it was always very traditional in our calendar. It was we every time we knew it was coming up we knew what we were going to be doing, we were knew who we were going to be with and it has always been an important, important part of my family and my culture throughout my life. The relationship between bands and lodges has improved big time but that's down to the bands form you know, um, and the marshals. That's, that's all down to just people working together. Um, and, and you know, one of the things whenever we were doing the Maiden City Accord was coming very clear through was the lack of communication between the, ba the bands and the lodges that have hired them. Um, and that has definitely got through to people because we've, we have better relationships now. Uh, everyone knows what they have to do and what they, sh what they should or shouldn't be doing. I think the Church of the Bant would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has supported us across the 185 years that we've been in existence. Of course, obviously this year we can't celebrate it the way we want, but we hope that we'll have your continued support over the next year and years to come. Just, uh, I'm very pleased to be taking part in this here for this unusual, very unusual uh, 12th of July coming up. and. Um, I wish you all the best in your organisation and I know that how hard you are working and developing and promoting our culture and heritage. Thank you. John Tiller, head of the Orange and Blue Flip Band, New Belgians, 37 years. It means everything has been my way of life. Been in the band since I was a teenager, and then my son and my daughter on it made it even better. So it's just it's a way of life, friends. So uh, it's, it's 
just a, it's my way of life now, and just can't do without it. Personally, I've, I've coped very well during lockdown. Uh, done a lot of walking. Uh, easy to stay in the house. It's no big deal. Like and uh, I've coped very well. My name is Derek Boyd and I'm a member of New Buildings Victoria, LOL 1087. Well, as a family, we've had always had strong connections with the Orange Institution. I can go back uh, to my great-grandfather, my grandfather, my mother. So it was always one of those things that I was probably always going to join the Orange Institution. Uh, I joined the Orange Institution when I could, when I was 18, uh, back in June 1979. Well, I've been working through lockdown. Um, I haven't been uh, on furlough um, and uh, any spare time I've had during lockdown, uh, if I haven't been working, I've spent more time perhaps maybe in the garden than I normally would have. The fact of March, I've uh, done a lot of walking for that, so currently in the lead, I think. And, uh, it's, I've done it for my fitness too and helped, like, so lost a, lost a few stones. So. Uh, go in the right direction? No, not really. Again, as I said, I've been working uh, all, all through the lockdown. It hasn't really affected me at work. So I've really just been doing a wee bit more extra about the garden, I guess, uh, than I normally would. I must have terrible. Uh, it's usually every year you're excited for the start of the marching season and then the build up to the 12th, you're excited. So. Plus band practice, you're not seeing you're not seeing everybody missing band practice, and you don't know what's going on, and you know so uh, enjoy the banter, and so uh, it's it's a big blank in your life, like when you're used to doing every year, like. Well, we've the lockdown really has only been affected the lodge for about three months, three four months of meetings. Um, and for me personally, uh, that's not really been a big deal. The bigger effect perhaps for most of us, most of our, our members, has been the fact that we haven't been able to join the gallery in church, uh, fellowship in church uh, from week to week. So that's really been a bigger gap uh, for me personally and for many of our members. This year in the 12th, we hope to be able to march as, as a band in our own village. Uh, considering the restrictions, we still hope that by, by the 12th it'll be, we'll probably do it with social distancing in place. If not, even play in different parts of the village. Because uh, as bars open and things come, to, I think it's, it's every right, we have every right to be able to do it in our own village without going out. And at, the way we have planned won't attract large numbers in one area, so we hope they take the band to each part of the village thing. Not really too sure what I'm going to do, probably spend it with my family. Uh, it's going to be different this year, uh, but um, we're going to be supportive of the Grand Lodge and obviously we're not going to get involved in any, any parades or anything like that. Well they have indeed. Uh, many of our members are actually have been working throughout the lockdown, uh, working with vulnerable uh, people and uh, delivering uh, foodstuffs uh, throughout the community, both in new buildings and throughout the waterside. Well, we've played for the old people down the home and there has been uh, different things, food packages and all handed out, so uh, whatever help it, it, it has been asked, they can do, like, no so. And uh, we have a lot of members in the band that their wives or nurses or healthcare workers. So. My son had to work all through the key workers, so, uh, so it's, been a lot, it's been a mix. So one's been off for load and then one has to work, like, so it's, you know, I, I was for load, well, I was for load off for five weeks, but back in the so. I do indeed. Um, I think we need to commend the leadership of all the uh, loyal orders. They took a very brave and bold decision to cancel the parades and discourage the, the uh, local communities from building wildfires. I think it's important that uh, we as membership and as a wider uh, 
unionist loyalist community, supporter leaders. Very difficult decision for them to make, but uh, I'm confident they've done the right thing. Well, our, our institution has always been about culture and uh, commemoration. Uh, I'm not too sure about political defiance, that's not part of it at all, certainly not part of my agenda. No, I don't think there's any risk to our parades at all. Um, I believe that uh, the community in general will recognise that the leadership have done a sterling job. Uh, we support the leadership and we look forward to a bigger and better uh, 12th next year. I don't think there's any risk. I think the band's seen them as, as, as strong as it has been in a number of years. And I think if, if there's boys walks away because they, they've had a break, well then, that's not really the members, no. Most bands is a good strong core of members and they're always going to be there. And I think uh, that'll, that'll continue. I think the, the health minister's done very well. I'm very impressed with him, to be honest. And uh, as far as Ireland and Michelle, I think there's too much conflict. One's trying to follow the Irish government, the other's trying to follow the British government. So it's hard to know who to believe. But uh, hopefully they publish the medical reports and we'll know who was rightly. Very difficult for leaderships, uh, and political leaders as well, of course, they have difficult political um, decisions to make. And I think they've all performed very well. Uh, it's good to see them working together. Uh, that's something we should be encouraging them to do and praying for them and, and encouraging them to, as they lead the community and do their best. It's not easy when they're a leader. Well, I don't think so. Uh, I think people's just dying to get back to the parade and all. We had a new uniform planned for this year and all. So I think everyone's just itching to get back at it and uh, get back to parading again. Well, from, from as a, a way in, it's always a, a big day out, watch the bands, meet a lot of boys from other bands, you know, and uh, I'd get to get great to crack. But it's, it's, I think it's the excitement and the build-up day of the 12th. That week before is, is a lot with the band, getting everything ready. I think that's, that's as big a deal as anything. Like. I think every every 12th has, has its memorable moments. Um, again, uh, there's too many to, to recall here. Um, the 12th, of course, can be a very sad day for people. And, uh, you know, they're looking at people that uh, maybe they've lost in the previous year or they're looking at family, family members uh, that maybe aren't able to parade because of sickness or, 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 or whatever. So uh, every 12th, I, I really enjoy the 12th of July and uh, I'm going to miss it this year. So uh, 1087, uh, we don't have a band of our own as such, um, but we do uh, work very closely with the Pride of the Orange and Blue, the young boys. Uh, in the village and uh, we have a very good relationship with them and we have quite a few members uh, of our lodge in the band so we have a very close connection there's family members in the band and um, we look forward to parading with them uh, we work uh, together uh, fundraising for various things throughout the village and we work together to, uh, with our uh, memorial garden and with our arch and it's always very important that we that we galvanize that relationship well, the arch, the arch is throughout Northern Ireland is very important for Orange culture and the, the Lloyds decided some years ago to actually construct the arch and uh, it's very important for us and very important for the community uh, to see the arch going up every year. Uh, again, it's, a, it's a, a, an expression of our culture and on the arch you'll see you know, our relationship not only with the Orange institution, with our sovereign, with the Open Bible, uh, with our churches, uh, with uh, everything that William brought to us. Uh, William is obviously uh, in, in the centre of the arch, but also we uh, uh, have a relationship with our famous boys, and that's also uh, on the arch. So yeah, it's, it's very important for all of us. Well, I think sometimes you maybe don't value what you have until you lose it. And I'm sure there might be those who maybe are on the fringes of the organisation or bands for that matter or indeed in a wider community who perhaps up until now uh, haven't got involved or may be not as active as it could be. 
and I think maybe that'll galvanise uh, hopefully support and maybe next year when it comes round again to the 12th and to when we're free to, to join together in our uh, celebrations, uh, those folks might uh, step forward and get involved again.